lovelies! Welcome to Behind the Scenes with Opanda Eyes. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I make the popular throne of glass inspired sword necklace that you all love. So here goes. This is a sterling silver chain that I use on all of my necklaces and my handy little tools. Um, so we would get a jump ring and pop it through the two pliers and open it up. That way um, you can fit your sword through the hoop and then onto the necklace. Um, it is a little bit fiddly, if you've come to my workshop at Comic Con you'll know how fiddly it is. Um, I'm just making it look easy because I fast forwarded it. So with this necklace I haven't put it on a hoop, I've just put it straight onto the necklace so it'll move around a little bit but with charms it always works better that way. You then close the hoop and there you go, voila, the necklace is made. Um, so next what do I do? It tends to be once I've made the necklace I can take the photos so here we're just having to move the chain a little bit just to get that nice finish and voila and there you go pliers are gone and then I add a few little touches these are from a shop called Hobbycraft here in the UK and I'm going for a bit of a summer look at the moment with the florals and the leaf and the wood um, and there you go and that's done Next I will be showing you the gift box that is coming with all of your orders at the moment. Um, it's taken a long time for me to work out packaging so I'm quite pleased with what I've chosen now and I'm quite happy with it. And there's a little bit of an extra close up shot of the sword. So what I would do then is add the sword to a card that falls into the box. Um, my style of box that I like at the moment are these small match box and um, it's a marble marble print and as you can see I'm opening up the box there we go and then I got these amazing stickers from Fifi and Belle and they are my logo which Alicia Joe Art um, designed for me and this is the foiled sticker and they just look so incredible on the box especially with the silver tone and if you see when it gets a bit darker the panda actually gets darker too which is really cool there we go there it is and then that's the matchbox slot that goes inside so the base and there you go it slips inside and you can pop the card with the jewelry on top of it and these necklaces luckily in this type of box don't get tangled Ta -da! I hope you liked this little behind the scenes video. Bye guys!